and welcome to Studio SCL presented by Michael's Flooring Outlet. I'm your host, Chelsea Haynes, and as you can see, we have an incredible spread. I mean, you guys know what it's like to have a nice, memorable cup of coffee. But what about a beautiful tartine? Well, this afternoon, we're spending some time with the Ivy Cafe, and joining us is their owner. We have the lovely founder, Julie Keene, alongside of our friend, Megan. How are you doing today? Good. How are you, Julie, over there working up some magic? I'm great. I'm oh, my great. gosh. I am incredibly happy. Look at this spread. For those who don't know, tell us a little bit more about how you got started with the Ivy Cafe, Julie. Well, I really wanted to bring a space into Clayton that was just community focused and had healthy food that most people could afford to come to on a regular basis. So. Well, I am a fan. Count me in, sign me up. Everything looks absolutely amazing. And why the name the Ivy for your restaurant? Well, that's a great question. <laughs> I'm obsessed with plants, as anybody who comes in knows. Mm -hmm. Um, so I just wanted to encompass that, and that's it's a natural fit. what I decided on, yeah. What are you working on right now? Because this looks gorgeous. So this is a watermelon and watermelon radish salad oh that goodness. we are bringing to the menu this week. Mm -hmm. This looks so good. And let's talk about your menu. I mean, it's fresh, it's fun, it's flavorful, it's beautiful. Why do you have so many great items on your menu? Well, we have so many great farmers in the area to mm -hmm. start. So we're big into supporting local farmers and local artists. Of course, like all of our dishes are handmade, including our mugs. Um, but it's just super important. We have so much talent in the city. So I like to bring a little bit of all of it to the table. Oh, I am excited. I mean, these mugs, the beautiful plates, all of the items on top of the plates that are gonna be good for our bellies. And Megan, what did you just pour on this beautiful tartine? So that is gonna be our homemade pesto oh that we actually goodness. make in-house fresh about every day or so. Um, and we put it on top of our Persian to kind of give that little flavor to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, that's just the whole party. You have your yep. tomatoes. We do our fresh tomatoes, mm -hmm. our mozzarella. We yep. put a little bit of fresh basil on top. Okay. And then we top it on top of our homemade sourdough that we make every day in house. Oh my gosh, so good. And that's really how the Ivy got started. You love sourdough, right? I do, Julie? I do. She's got beautiful sourdough items as well as some other tartines. What else have you brought in for us today when it comes to So tartines? we have brought our morel mushroom tartine, which is a seasonal item. It's great. We actually just got it back last week. Yeah. So it has a goat cheese that is featured from a local creamery um, in the Midwest. All of our cheeses come from Midwest creameries. Um, a local morel mushroom, some microgreens, fresh herbs, and a house-made hummus. Um, so that's always a really fun one. Of course, you can only get it in the summer. Um, we brought our quinoa bowl, which is just a nice, healthy option. As much as we love sourdough, we do try to diversify a little bit for the folks who are either gluten intolerant or who are just watching their carbs in general. So we always have a lot of options that are gluten-free um, and also grain-free. Of course, that one does have grains because it has quinoa, but we do always try to make that available. Um, we have our Buckingham. I was gonna say, Which, that looks amazing. I don't think I've ever seen a tartine <laughs> with pomegranate seeds on it. What else is on this? Yeah, it's a great one. Um, it has a local feta cheese, mm -hmm. pomegranate seeds, um, fresh honey, and then dill. So oh dill is goodness. our favorite urban house. We pretty much like cover everything in dill. We love it. Um, we have a tomato beet and goat cheese salad over here. Um, we have our Kingsbury tartine. So all of our tartines are actually named after local streets in either Clayton, U City, mostly Clayton and U City. Um, but that one has fresh beets, um, some microgreens, goat cheese, pine nuts, and fresh herbs. And then we have our Delcrest tartine, which is really special to me. Um, mo most of our tartines are named after streets of like significant people in my life. That one in particular is very special to me. Um, but it has an herbal cream cheese, some um, cucumbers, smoked salmon, uh, house-made pickled onion capers and um, dill. So it's kind of a, a spin on like a lox and bagel. Well, it looks absolutely amazing. Everything looks so good. My mouth is watering. And the best part about it is not only is it healthy for you and good for your body, it's made with lots of love. That's right. Yeah, that's so. so you can feel yes. some of this love and experience it for yourself. It is the Ivy Cafe. They are located in Clayton. I mean, just look at those sardines. You can give them a follow on Facebook and on Instagram. And you can also head online to their website ivytartines.com and when we come back St. Louis we'll work on one more beautiful piece of artistry from Julie and her team at Ivy Cafe.